This screencast is to help you understand and manipulate the equation for density a little bit easier. Uh, there are some tricks out there that will help you solve for terms other than D. It will help you, um, so I have a trick to help you find M and B. This is the density equation, D equals M over V, so density equals mass over volume. Remember you need to have your mass in grams and your volume in either milliliters or liters, which is the typical unit. Um, and so when you're asked to find the density, you just divide. This triangle represents a way to look at the density equation and help you solve for mass, volume, or density. So what you do is you put your thumb on the term that you're solving for, so in this case, density, which is the one I covered up with the circle, equals mass over volume. You can see that you have mass here and you have volume here. So by covering up the density, we have mass over volume. Well, if we're asked to solve, excuse me, if we're asked to solve for mass, you have density times volume, okay? And then the last term is if you're solving for volume, volume is equal to mass over density according to this triangle. Okay, so let's take a few minutes here and let's look at some examples where we solve out the math and see if the triangle actually works. All right, so first we're going to use our triangle to solve for mass. So density equals mass over volume. So as I said, we're going to cover up our term mass. Let's see if mass does equal density times volume. So when we're doing the math, we are going to take and we're trying to get mass by itself. All right, so we have to do some math in order to manipulate and get the M by itself. So right now the volume is on the bottom of the fraction and so is being divided. The opposite of division is multiplication. So we're going to multiply both sides by volume and that allows us to cancel these two terms out and so if you rewrite the expression, you see that mass is by itself, and that equals volume times density. And if you look at the equation in the triangle up there, mass, which is covered up, equals density times volume. So the triangle holds true. All right, so now let's look at the triangle, and we'll solve it for volume. So we're going to put our circle on volume and see if um, the volume then equals mass divided by density. So let us manipulate our equation. We're going to try to get volume by itself. Now volume is on the bottom of the fraction, so we need to make this equation a little more linear in order for it to be a better representation of the math. We're going to multiply both sides by volume. So we are able to cancel these terms out and we're left with volume times density equals mass. We don't want mass, we want to find volume. So we are going to do some more multiplication in order to get volume by itself. So what we're going to do is we will divide by density on both sides and we're left with, after we cancel these out, we're left with volume equals mass divided by density. And as you can see in the triangle, you have mass divided by density. So, this triangle rule does work. If you cover up the term that you're looking for, for instance, density equals mass divided by volume, or mass, mass equals density times volume, or volume equals mass divided by density, they all work. So now all you have to do is remember how to make the triangle so that you can use this to help you think the math through a little bit better if you're having problems manipulating the algebra. So when you're working with it, you start off by having your density equaling mass divided by volume. It's important that you set up the triangle correctly in order to get the terms to line up in the right form.